So once again, good evening to all of you. Today, as of uh, we have completed week one classes, and uh, only the pending thing was this one. So how to uh, we need to perform the model validation for prosa, pro q, pro check analysis. We have completed modeling till uh, modelers by using modeler software, and we have designed the three D image structure also. And uh, our pending was up to here. We have completed. The thing here up to completed here, and we need to check this uh, project prosa procu. This is the information, and also today we are going to going to discuss about IQ binding set prediction, grid generation, these all things. Okay. Oh, let me go for our uh, desired compo where where we have done the best one. This one was our best model, right? The third one was uh, previously we have not ordered. And uh, Prithi ma'am, did you have find it out uh, where the previous section classes are available? These all things. No, actually not it. Mm. So okay, whenever you come to the class, whenever you log into your user account. Okay. Okay, you have to come to your class dashboard. Okay? okay, this is your dashboard. Hmm. So it will be available here. So see, this is live courses. So whatever courses are available, you need to click there. So here your course will be there. As of for me, as I'm instructor, I'll get this extra option. So later, you have to go to this particular place called previous classes. Actually, okay. it's displaying somewhat differently to me. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are a student, man. So you'll get like that. Okay. Okay. So all the one first and second, third, fourth, fifth classes all are available here. Okay. You can go from there. Okay. So this is the protocol you need to do your prep. After the courses, I don't know what to do. Oh, you no need to do anything. Go for live courses. Okay, go for live courses. View all live courses and select the course which you are have been joined. Okay. Okay. That's enough. Then later this page will be available. Will be visible. Okay, everything. So you can go in your previous classes. You'll be find it. Okay, that's it. Hmm? Okay, I will try and let you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh, so we have a model a best structure and we need to see whether uh, this model is a uh, uh, we need to compare whether how far our model is better uh, uh, based on the scoring pattern okay so let me go for scoring pattern analysis so for scoring pattern analysis we need to see the ramchandran plot okay just type the ramchandran plot to see how far our uh, model model is better and uh, whether it has any alpha psi, psi, psi plots or how many allow regions are there. These are all things we need to see. Okay. So you see, there's a called a Ramchandran plot Z lab. Okay. You'll be find it here. So when you open this server, Ramchandran plot server, it will, uh, it will be asking you the model which you want to check whether the model is better having allow regions or not. These are all things if you want to check. Select the PDB file here. Go to this particular file. So it will directly redirect you. Okay. You need to find it where your uh, desired folder is available. So in this, almost. Uh, so this is our best model. Okay. Or else you can only take this particular uh, uh, three dimensional structure in particular folder and you can open them. Okay. Just click this one and select go. So then the results will be interpret analysis will be interpreted for you so you can see here the the highly preferred regions uh, it is 95% absolute range okay this was 95% absolute range if it is below 89% if the highly preferred observation is called green color okay these are five uh, allowed regions of the particular amino acids which it shows uh, in the in between of this here in between of this, uh, what we call them as that, those are those are called as uh, um, the region which is having the best uh, binding affinity place. So, so if there are no such, um, what I mean was the 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 orientation of X Y Z coordinates are better. So, so you can call that like that. Okay. So it is you need to understand in Ramchandran plot, always it should be eighty nine percentage above. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, that is default. If it is below eighty nine percentage, your model protein is not that much good for docking. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, are you understanding what I mean? Was hmm? 
uh, if it is above 89 percent then you can tell it is very good to go for docking analysis further uh, grid generation and further thing also okay sir yeah you may have doubt also so by based on the ramchandran plot uh, how do we consider if the model is very good or not how do you say like that you may have some doubts you can also cross verify with other uh, model servers also that is called proq it is called proq that is called protein quality predictor okay this click this protein quality predictor proq stands for protein quality predictor okay and uh, you need to come here to the web server I think there is some problem with the server. It's not opening. If not, uh, we would have been uh, seeing the results analysis. It shows there is some error with the web server. It is showing internal server error. So we can see later also. Maybe maybe the server will be down. That's why it is not showing to us. I'm trying with some other clicks also. So it's not possible. It's not showing. Okay, no problem. This is also the same thing, similar one only, not not, not an issue. When you submit the best protein, okay, the model structure which you have done by homology modeling, this is the model which we have chosen as the best model based on the dope score. So you need to give the input file as how we done in Ramchandran plot. If you submit the protein, it will give you the some range of uh, scoring. Is if it is uh, above greater than one five, it is a correct model. Okay, if the LG score is okay. If the LG score, okay, uh, it is more than three, it is very good. The quality of the protein was good in modeling. If it is more than five, it is very good, okay. Mo most probably, whatever models we have done till now were submitted to this protein quality predictor were greater than five only. It is not like uh, the lesser than five, lesser than three, or something like that. It is very good, the model, model which we have submitted till now. So it gives good alignment uh, for every time. So you can uh, you can see later also uh, after if if possible we'll see later if this uh, site opens. I think there is some problem with web server. Let me see later. We'll, we'll check out whether uh, this ProQ is working or not. Prosa. It is a uh, Prosa is also for us protein structural analysis. Okay, it's a structural analysis. This uh, PROSA web server is used for uh, to know the how far your structural analysis is a, is a playing. It is a your model. The model protein is standing in um, whether in um, the X-ray uh, crystallography region or uh, NMR region. These things uh, it will be seen in the protein structural analysis that is also called as PROSA. And uh, uh, this is uh, we need to verify these all things. Uh, and some other servers are also available. So those things also we can able to visualize them. Those are like ERAT, okay? And uh, you can find them in CI, that is called uh, a CI. Okay, just type like this, SCF bio. <coughs> Sorry. So if you come to this uh, SCF bio portal, you will find some. Uh, you come to the um, collab. Uh, come to the software tools. Go for protein structure prediction. Okay. If you come to the protein structure prediction, 
you will find a uh, number of tools which were designed by our indian uh, scholars from iit delhi uh, uh, those are the students of uh, our uh, uh, the professor jairam so they are also been uh, working with uh, ramchandran plot uh, mapping so you can see this uh, ramchandran plot plots uh, uh, and uh, something like uh, there are many servers were available to them and if you upload the pdb file here it is uh, it also gives the ramchandran plot analysis for you so these are the things uh, you can see how many model so be because I, i i don't want to tell you to learn with only one structural server because when you meet when you meet many things when you do many many server validations it tells us uh, how strong our model protein is good we can able to judge when someone review or contacts us so we can also tell them they may ask us why who have chosen this server only why not that why not that these all things they may question us so for this for that criteria only what we are doing here we are just giving as many as so i think this this is also some some problem i think there is some network issue i think the portals they are not working right now so you can also find uh, many things huh? um so that that's uh, okay. that's the thing and uh, actually the servers will maybe we need to work with these servers everything these are very user friendly so i just want to tell you why i am choosing to show you these all things if you are are out of servers but uh, the thing is go for all softwares you will find everything so learn everything if you if you want to acquire much knowledge in bioinformatics or you want to handle many softwares uh to learn not only through this uh, what i show you as a our, out of our syllabus so you will find everything whatever the information you want to do so i told you that we need to see any protein quality prediction okay you want to build any model these all things able to build in this one particular website only but uh, here there is some tricky thing is there but for us we got 90 89% above highly preferred observations we have seen in case when you go through these model structures those online softwares what it happens you know it takes uh, allo regions are not that much uh, considerably modeled uh, through the online softwares something there will be a little trouble a little drastic change will be there that's why i request uh, many people not to go for such model design by using the uh, online servers okay and also some some best some best online servers were also available like uh, swiss model when compared to uh, modeler there is another server called uh, swiss modeler so we have performed blast analysis okay we all know that we have performed blast analysis for this particular protein called uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis this thing we have done in our previous section also what we have done we have taken this sequence we have gone through the blast analysis okay we have performed blast as we have performed blast to this organism and later we have downloaded some sequence from uh, uniprot and these all things we have done modeling by using cluster right these all things we have done suppose when you have performed this thing uh when you have uh, when you have performed blast hmm? so what it happens uh, sometimes uh, we may not get this uh, type of similarity sequence it says significantly not similar you are not finding any type of accession id okay in that criteria what we have to do you can able to save the paste the sequence here okay and you need to tell that uh, particular protein you have to search templates to model a protein if you don't want to go for modeling by using modeler software i just want to build directly with the online software go for build model you can select build model directly it in 5 to 10 minutes sometimes it takes 20 minutes also sometimes it may appear in 5 minutes okay the result analysis you will find a model desired model for this particular protein and here also there is a problem what all the remaining people who are not aware of bioinformatics tools what they do they do these online softwares like uh, what i sh shown you um the model called uh, bagiratha h okay that is called uh, here also there is a software indian people have designed uh, or in you can find the homology modeling here the protein structure prediction 
you can submit the sequence here in this particular region of amino acids you you can you just submit your uh, email id to this particular uh, id it will send you some model structure based on the algorithm they have designed even the similar way this swiss model also does and also there is one more software called iterzer so most probably what uh, many researchers were doing because of lack of knowledge of uh, bioinformatics they never they are approaching this way only because the always the server does server gives the best uh, borders those things they are doing but the one when it comes to the model validation okay when it comes to the model validation this is called uh, the project prosa procure this this ultimately fails sometimes the protein scoring at the end when you do docking with a particular uh, ligands or small molecules it never works this is the main problem i never uh, suggest many people to go to those but I, I i i suggest them to learn what exactly it is happening there and here you need to check it out if you check it out it, it gives you a best understanding then you can able to prefer to learn many things that's what i mean also. are you getting what i'm saying are you able to follow me what i mean was uh, able um, I, what my intention was to tell you yes sir okay yeah fine and uh, see this ah, is the server excuse me yes yes you tell actually me. is there a, any particular restriction like which from, which should be used during which situation like pro q or which kind of predictor should be used actually these all uh, things rest there is no restriction like that you need to do these all things because uh, you need to make sure that your protein model was good that you need to show where is it if sometimes in project yeah in ramchandran plot uh, your model protein doesn't may, may not be that much good scoring may you may not find at that criteria what you are doing you are choosing the second alter alternation called pro prosar pro q anything if your model is good in prosar pro q you can go for further that's it like that okay fine if, uh, if it is uh, there is no good score in ramchandran plot then you can mm. go here okay okay if there are all the servers are good then mm. then it is also better thing this is the thing what i mean was i am not saying you to stay with only one uh, server one validation only go for many validations okay if you choose many validations then the reviewer the he ultimately he understands you have done everything in a sorted way na yeah that's that's what i mean was okay what i mean was that that's the thing so it is see it takes 20 minutes to build a model in online also but the model doesn't gives a proper way mm. but when you when we when you do continuously practicing the, uh, what i have teach you in a modeler software if you do that one it takes only 10 minutes i think so if you run properly okay but uh, but ultimately your model will be very good hmm. okay uh, this is what i this this what i want to say okay uh, if if the model works i will check this at least pro check if it is working or not uh, this process is not working the site right oh this is not working i'm also so, getting the same when i put yeah yeah server was not protein problem server problem was there here okay so there is another call erat i think erat software is there we'll check that one you can find here in erat also there are many things like project pro pro so pro let's go there give the model
so can you see here something called the uh, you have given some one protein but there are there are six uh, model validations or other validations also okay if you want to find any stereochemical physical physical chemical properties of your parameter you can go for watch check if you want to find uh, uh, the same physical chemical property for uh, your protein there is another sub of approach check verify 3d pro or uh, crystal crystal something like that and you can you can also give this particular scoring also to your model so it is a very near to uh, above 50 percentage of your overall quality factor so this is yeah that's that's some, somewhat uh, fine you can uh, suggest to go for best one. and there are other uh, softwares are also available you can choose them apart of what i have shown you here that like procha proce proq these are also some other uh, external uh, things so most probably these things will be used by those IIT, Madras and IIT daily people only. Not uh, the you know, institutions we are not using. That's like, see our verified model for uh, this uh, ERAT was ERAT after uh, I went for a verified D. See, it, 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 it has told, yeah, your, your model is okay, you can pass. Right? We have given only one, our model, okay? Uh, it's a, it has passed three things in project also, in watch check also it is showing, it's going to show for a cross verification. So see here it has paid in one particular place, but here in case it has passed, it gets here in ERAT it has passed, in project it has passed, in Ramchandran plot it has passed. Because those those uh, those things are very similar. Why these are getting free? You may have some doubt. Then what's the use of uh, getting the interpretation? So sometimes uh, these are very these software what they have given designed may work for electrophysiography structures. Sometimes it may work for uh, NMR. Okay, it may not work for X-ray crystallography. Based on that criteria, they may have designed like that. That's why it it may never work sometimes. This is the ma major thing what we need to understand. Okay. If it fails, no, no need to get worried. You need to kind of able to check with other project, uh, pro, other model validations. That's a better thing. So till model validation is it cleared? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, what about you, ma'am, Arvind? Yeah, okay. Okay, now I just go and conclude uh, the cast P for pocket chain identification okay cast p is also called as computed atlas of surface topography of protein okay this is also called as surface topography of a protein and uh, if i want to know about particular local docking of a region okay we have been discussing about the global docking and local docking also so here in this particular region we can see the active binding site prediction so after homology modeling, we need to find the particular pocket chain identification that is called active binding site prediction. Okay, this active site binding prediction, we can able to find by using cast P analysis. If in case, if I don't know the cast P analysis, if I don't want to go for cast P analysis, when I go for cast P analysis, I'll let you know this one. So see the model protein, which you have in model here for mycobacterium tuberculosis, okay? So if you know any literature information, okay, if you know any literature information, okay, then you can easily go for a particular residue is very important in your particular protein. Okay, I just open this model by using the pi mole. See, so don't get confused. I'm just uh, trying to tell you something uh, in detail. That's it. And uh, you will understand what I mean, My what I want to tell you exactly. See, this is this is uh, will like select leucine, like tyrosine here. So, can you see when I selected tyrosine, there was a hint here I have shown you, and also I just show in different documentation. So, I just done here. If I think 71 was the residue, tyrosine is very important in my model protein based on the literature. Okay, I'm just seeing this one on the based on the literature, someone who has previously described this uh, sequence information, but there is no model, but you have developed a model, but you know this uh, particular residue is very important. Okay, in this criteria, you want to get dock here at this particular region, but you don't know what are these uh, 
particular pocket chain for this particular residue of the 71 residue. You want to know those things. Okay. Or else I will just, oh my God. Okay, I want to label this particular region. Can you see there is a residue called 72 I have labeled. I will make it as a yellow color. So I just have uh, labeled it as like this. It is called tyrosine 72. So I want to know what are the uh, four hamstring region of this particular protein of this residue. Okay, at this criteria what I do, I go for action. I come down here to the modify around Four Armstrong region. So, are you getting what I'm seeing? If you want to know that the particular region of those residues, you want to dog that particular region. You don't know where the exactly your region of that region. Literature information is available for you. You want to know a particular region of the pocket chain identification around that particular residue. You want to find it means you can able to go for pi mole, go for action, modify around. Armstrong region. If you click this one, you can see here the all the selection wherever it has gone. It shows you the all the residues. So go for residue. Click this one, and also select the residues which are very important. You'll find it here. You can also select. Sir, can you do that step again, sir? How do you do it? Uh, this you need to see the previous class one, uh, Arvind. What I have told you in the no, pymol. No, right now, right now, you did something different. That's only enough. No, it's not different. Anything similarly, everything was okay. What I mean was, I just selected it. I just selected a particular pro residue. I gone here in the action. I selected modify around four Armstrong region. That's it. See, Arvind, you need to note down everything, whatever I'm saying. Okay. And after that, you need to once practice it. Then you will get everything easy. Okay? Okay. You never get any confused. Don't get. Don't worry. You will learn everything. Okay? But these things you have never used previously. That's why you may have some difficulty to understand. That's it. Don't get. Don't get confused. But you ask me whatever you don't get, I'll explain you. In meanwhile, when I and I am going through that one. Okay? Okay. Now is it clear for you, Arvind? Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. See, now this is a particular region where very important for me. So, this is the region where I am going to choose to go for docking. Are you able to understand now? Riti, madam? Yeah, yeah. I am fine. Okay. If yeah, in yeah. case, in case of criteria, when you don't know this region, that uh, what I mean was the 72nd residue, then you have to choose the computed atlas surface topography of the protein. If you don't have literature information, then you can choose the global docking. Okay, click this one. Only in case when the literature information is not available. Uh, yes, when it is not available the for particular residue. Okay. 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 And go for this one. Go for show pocket. Okay. Go for here. And uh, see here what you have to do. Go for calculation, upload the file, the best model here, give the email ID. I just give my email ID here. So they will send you the results. Okay. If you just click here, submit. So the results will be mailed to you to this particular. Uh, this is your, if you want to know for future communication, if you have deleted any mail. Yeah? You can note down this ID. You will be finding everything. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to the my mail ID. Will this be as accurate as the literature information? Yes. Yes. Somewhat similar. Okay. Okay. Not a hundred percent because we are doing a prediction. Yeah. Fine. Our uh, our ultimate aim was we are doing prediction. Okay. Mm. Okay. And uh, when you open the file from the Caspi analysis, the job ID you can able to note down. Just click this link. If you just click this link, you'll find the residues. What are those important? So you can see the residues which are important. Let me see whether 72 residue is very important or not. I have selected previously. Na? So 72 residue is not important. See, these all residues are very important until the 486 or something like that. It is there. Na? 
so c408 was glutamine glutamine 404 tryptophan uh, and uh, something 396 is proline these all things are available here okay and based on this thing you can able to go for a global docking when you find any two or more sequence you can choose local docking in in this criteria when you find more sequence from 1 to say it is starting from 5 the sequence is ending till 412 there are many residues there so in case like in autodoc we can't choose all residues so what we can able to do we can go for directly the global doc got it what i mean was is it clear for you can you this repeat once i told you about this uh, if you do if you have two or more sequence information here Okay, there are three or four sequences are available for a particular region. Then you can then okay. you can choose global local locking. Okay. If there are more sequences, but our sequence length is 486, something like that. Okay, 483. But here you can see as many as numbers are were increasing, number of residues were increasing. In case like commercial software, you can choose these residues. But if there are more residues or everything is co covering, then you can choose the global locking, the total receptor not like local docking as i said previously okay, okay. i think th this will be cleared in our next section tomorrow's class then it will be very clear for you okay fine you will don't get any confusion also hmm? mm. so till now we have uh, done the active site prediction model validation these all things were cleared so we have also known where what is grid generation where the grid generation is done for local and global docking we known something theoretical information today okay we, and also we have gone with the practical also Tomorrow we do Autodoc, okay? So for this, you need to download the software Autodoc, okay? That is the call MGL tools. Previously, I told you, and once again, I'll, I'll, I'll request you to download the MGL tool. Or else you can also type as Autodoc Mina. Okay, just download these all things. So we will uh, we'll sort out by tomorrow for our docking, okay? We'll dock tomorrow for our model protein or any of the model protein okay so let me show you the what we do tomorrow hands-on autodoc and the next day we go for hands-on pyrex software virtual training okay so is it clear for today's class is it clear yes mm, yeah so if you have any doubts you can ask me so while downloading MGN tools, uh, already auto docking app is there, no? After yeah, it's there, there, there. It will open for you. No problem. So see, the I show you that one. Don't get, I don't, don't get confused. So this, if you download MGL tool, you'll find like this. That is yeah, called yeah. Python I molecular tool, and this one also. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference? Means if you open auto doc, you will be opened. It will redirect you directly. Okay. If you open PyMol. What it have? Uh, sorry, py, not PyMol. That is Python molecular tool. It takes time, little time. Okay, it takes little time. But you need to make sure you have to give one option called Autodoc. That is called. I'll show you. See here, there is Autodoc tool uh, symbol was there icon. Yes. You need to click this one. Later only you will find everything. So see whatever we uh, we discussed the grid generation. These all things are available here. Uh, so please try to download tomorrow everything these all things okay uh, if you have not done it you download it okay and uh, the thing is uh, i i need to discuss with you custody ma'am but uh, uh, you are i don't know what's the problem of your modular software try to install this modular once again mm, actually is, uh, so many times actually i you know, uninstalled and again reinstalled. yeah you need to, also the thing is, uh, there is another there, laptop also i don't know what was the problem but the thing is only one thing that is python and other one is modular you need to download Actually, if you download is... if you download these things it's enough no no need to do many things also uh, or else uh, i'll tell you some other things uh, if it is required to see general software are available but not i i, I was uh, having some software those the things need to be downloaded if it is required me We'll see one second. So while searching for modeler, uh, it's showing the DOS page also. 
why doing run model telling that no mm-hmm. model is there yeah we will try to rectify these all things if it is possible if it is not possible now also we will at least we will rectify later also not a issue okay but uh, after doing homology modeling uh, then also uh, uh, after that uh, practicals can do no yeah 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 you can do no problem no, the thing is uh, i will tell you some versions uh, which uh, which it is needed to require to download but uh, here in my here it is not available with me i'm trying to find those software those are available in my lab that's why so okay no problem i will tell you the software uh, versions prior later you just uh, try to install those versions by typing here not to na- like 9.15 or something like that apply for python also those those things enough okay no need to go for some other thing but at least to download this python molecular tool okay we will do tomorrow yeah, or some other thing. all the apps so you okay. have said no i have downloaded it okay 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 that's nice that's nice and what about uh, other the other people like uh, uh, completed exams arvin what about you when you are going to get free to learn sir uh, my exams are actually becoming top tier because of uh, uh, The weather conditions is getting postponed again, again. Okay, okay, okay. No issue. I, I thought I, you have. I am, I am taking the track, sir, and I am re- re- seeing, reviewing the videos again. Okay. Uh, sir, sir, I, I will uh, learn it. Sir. I am learning. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay, okay. What about you, ma'am, Preeti, ma'am? Is it okay for you? Sir? Yeah, it's okay. But uh, still, I need some something to clear how to use that. I have been asking that now in your message, WhatsApp message, that read my course. Uh, Can I, I share? I'll show you. Yeah, you can go ahead. I just stop my screen here. Okay. Stop recording also.